Issues of workforce development are not new to YWCA. As a matter of fact, in 1872, we were the first organization to create a women's employment center because we knew then, just like we know today, that when the economy changes, it's women and communities of color that are mostly hit. We want to make sure that we continue to be at the forefront and that we continue to look at the future of work through not only workforce development, but through digital skilling as well. I'm grateful to google.org because through this grant, we are able to partner with the Bridgespan Group and look at this issue from a much deeper perspective. I hope you will engage us and that you will participate in this effort. Thank you so much. Part of what we're really looking to do is figure out what economic empowerment looks like as part of post-COVID-19 recovery. If leaders aren't careful, they're going to look around in five, six, seven years and go, where did all the women go? And that's because they're the ones with the childcare issues. They're the ones who are least, um, um, least experienced in the technological fields. And we're with complicated lives we take care of the mother we take care of our moms and we take care of our kids and we're the teachers when they're doing digital literacy and all that kind of stuff so i think we are absolutely affecting what could what could be a mass exodus of women in the workforce And in looking at particularly the women that we serve, right, and we're seeing that a lot of the women that we serve, those industries are being absolutely decimated, those jobs are disappearing, and opportunities for economic stability, much less empowerment, um, are, are, are not really there in, in the way that we've traditionally been serving our women. If a woman is not economically empowered, nothing else is going to follow. So one of the things that we have received funding for from Google is to really look at um, digital skills, digital skills empowerment as part of workforce development. We started having job fairs because at first, oh, people are unemployed, they just need connections to jobs. And then it went from there to the parents start anticipating the job fairs. And then I said, well, actually we need to expand that more. Let's talk about real workforce de development kind of work. I would hope that these women see that a place for themselves in the world of technology that we're quickly, you know, being surrounded by and not that it's there on the outside looking in. I want to have a continuum of services for people. I want to be a place where in particular women can go, can build community and fellowship with one another and feel support in whatever area of their life that they need. Um, and I also want to be a place where instead of the only people we serve being people who are struggling economically, I want to be a place where women come together from that broad section of experience working together. Um, so that, that idea of having some of those more advanced level certifications and options, absolutely. We are only, we're only limited by resources. I would, I would jump at the chance to build that out.